great moments from the campaign trail, presented by the History Channel. That statement, it seems to me, is taken out of context that you just made to me. I could not I tell you what the Pope meant unless I had the entire article. It was the candidacy that challenged America's religious conscience. The election year was 1960. In 1960, one of the big questions is, would America elect the Catholic president? In the 20th century, before John Kennedy's nomination, there had been only one uh, Catholic who had been nominated for president. That was Al Smith, the New York governor. He was nominated by the Democrats in 1928. It is widely and correctly perceived in the aftermath of Smith's overwhelming defeat that his religion was a very major drawback. And many people were doubtful whether Kennedy, regardless of how charismatic he was or how good he was in terms of his policies, could win. Anti-Catholicism was extremely strong in this period in American history. And there was a sense that Catholics are different, uh, that they couldn't be trusted in positions of power. And there was all kinds of rumors, always, that Kennedy would really rule through the Vatican. That was the argument a lot of anti-Catholics would make. And so Kennedy had to deal with this all the time on the campaign trail. The uh, question is whether I think that uh, if I were elected president, I would be divided between two loyalties, my church and my state. Uh, let me just say that uh, I would not. He says that uh, he will not accept the dictates of the Pope uh, as president, that he will be his own president, that his religion will not dictate uh, his public policy. I came to the state of West Virginia, which has fewer numbers of my co-religionists than any state in the Union. I would not have come here if I didn't feel that I was going to get complete opportunity to run for office as a fellow American in this state. I would not run for it if in any way I didn't feel that I could do the job. He ultimately decides to take it head on. And so he goes to Houston before a group of Southern religious leaders. Contrary to common newspaper usage, I am not the Catholic candidate for president. I am the Democratic Party's candidate for president, who happens also to be a Catholic. He just says, I, I am a Catholic, but I will not govern as a Catholic. I believe in an America where no religious body seeks to impose its will, directly or indirectly, upon the general populace. I believe in a president whose views on religion are his own private affair. It is a very successful speech in minimizing concerns about his religion. Undoubtedly, he lost some votes in 1960 because of his religion, but it's not an overwhelming handicap. Once a Catholic is elected in 1960, you don't see a lot of discussion of that in, in future years. And that's a recurring theme of kind of how far will Americans go in voting for a new kind of person who we haven't had in the White House. This has been another great moment from the campaign trail. Earn your place in history. Be sure to vote.